Tex. Pinchy friend of two-gun Tex. Kalamakuya, kala, kalamakuya, kala, kala, Hello, little Jake. More candy? I believe your grandpa's been spoiling you. No, ma'am. Been running errands for the sheriff. Oh, well then, the sheriff's been spoiling you. Now, what would you like? I'd like some licorice for me and some tobacco for Gramps. Oh, now, licorice. Oh, licorice, licorice. Uh, here we are. Licorice for you and backy. Uh, oh, dear, where did I put that backy? Uh, and tobacco for Grandpa Twink. Thank you, ma'am. Now, now go straight home, Jake. There was a stranger in town last night. They say it was Pedro the bandit. No need to worry about Pedro, ma'am. The sheriff will take care of him. Yeah, you're right, Jake. The sheriff looks after us well. Oh, yeah, he looks after us well. Mm. Oh, so, so you've been doing business with Ma Jones again, Jake. And here's something for you, Gramps. Oh, good boy, Jake. Just what I wanted. Something's happening in town. Bet it's the bandit. Now get out of town. And don't you ever come back. You're surprising me, Sheriff. But I'll be back, and I'll get you if it's the last thing I do. It sure will be. Now get going. The sheriff's done it again, Gramps. Mighty fine man, Tex Tucker. I remember when he first got his magic guns. It was quite a while back. Yep, before his town was built even. You see, well, the sheriff, he came from the valleys, Jake. Now he was riding west with his old pals, Rocky and Dusty. And he'd been riding hard for days. And their supplies of food and water had almost run out. But they rode on, hoping to find a town or a, or a water hole. Bet you'd sure like a drink, Rocky. <laughs> Say, what's that up ahead? Go see, Dusty. What's the matter, boy? Are you hurt? Hungry. Lost. Well, guess we're all lost together, boy. Soon the sheriff had a fire burning, and the four friends were enjoying the last of the food. Feeling better, boy? Makuya. Feel happy now. Makuya. Is that your name, boy? Yes. My grandfather. Big Chief Kalamakuya. Oh, and where are you from? Three moons over mountain. Then I'd better get you home. But first we'd better get some shut eye. <laughs> make it by sundown. Can't go on much longer without water. Come on, Rocky. see it. Sun hit water, all dried up. 
Makuya. Sorry. I reckon Rocky can't go any further without water. Guess we'd better settle down here for the night and go on at sunup. I guess Tex was mighty worried about the situation. And though he had told Makuya he'd be home in the morning, he knew they couldn't be found. Little Makuya was dreaming. And suddenly he woke up and he shouted. is a drink of water and something to eat. Uh, I bring water. But first, I bring sun over mountain. gift you could have given me, Chief. Have more for you, Tex Tucker. Four feathers from my headdress. Here, his first feather. <laughs> I say, old chap, do be careful with that feather. You see, I can talk to you now. <laughs> my horse. You've made him talk. But he's got the darndest English accent. Naturally, old boy. My ancestors came from England. <sighs> I'm a thoroughbred, you know? Don't forget Tex Tucker. No one hear him but you and Doug. Here, second feather. Dusty. Take care. Take care of that feather, Tex. If you lose it, I lose my voice. Here. Third and fourth feather. But I didn't touch my guns. Your guns now big medicine. Where did they go? Good heavens. They simply vanished. But the water's still here, and the grass and the trees. This place is sure full of magic. In Four Feather Falls, Four Feather Falls, there's always magic in the air. In Four Feather Falls, Four Feather Falls, you'll always find a vacant chair. But anything can happen, anything at all. You might hear a dog, meow. But stranger than that, any stray cat may suddenly remark, bow wow. Four feather falls, four feather falls, the only place on earth to be. Cause four feather falls, Four feather falls, is heaven on the range to me. Is heaven on the range to me. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Four feather falls, four feather falls. Is heaven on the range to me? Is heaven on the range to me? Well, that's how it all began, Jake. Soon folks came to live here and made ticks this year. <laughs> What are you talking about, Dusty? Pedro's behind you! Pedro's behind you! Talk slower, Dusty. I can't make out a word you're saying. Behind you! Get your hands up. Thanks, Tucker. So, <laughs> you thought that you'd get rid of me, huh? <laughs> well, I'm gonna kill you, Tex Tucker. I told you to get out of town. And that's just what you're gonna do. My hat! My hat! Thanks for telling me the story, Gramps. Pedro won't worry us again, I bet you. I guess not, son. Guess not. Oh, Tugan, Tex of Texas, is a guy with the straightest deal. But he keeps the law with the fastest drawer and a nervous strongest deal. Oh, Tugan, Tex of Texas, is a friend who'd never fail. But if you did wrong, wouldn't take him long to clap you right in jail. He's known throughout all Kansas, through every single mile, as a rootin' tootin' Highfalutin sheriff with a smile To Guntex of Texas will never let you down But play it bad and he'll get mad So cover your tricks from To Guntex The smartest guy in town The smartest guy in town